degrade anything masculine, marginalize and vilify the macho types like Savage by banning him from the U.K. I'm not writing this. I'm only reading this. This is by Robin of Berkeley. Shall I go on? She goes on. She writes, hike up the costs of SUVs and trucks and squeeze men into deracinated cars like the Prius. Notice how prissy even the name sounds. Prius. Even better, herd them to work in buses and trains to save the planet and control them. Ask the question, as Maureen Dow did in her best-selling book, answer in the negative by glorifying single mothers and supporting sperm donors. Why bother with a bossy husband when the government can put moms on the dole? And anyway, with gayness being the next big craze, there may be fewer straight men out there. On the horizon, making the notion of gender arbitrary anyway. Allow people free and easy access to sex change operations. I'll bet good money they'll be readily available under, under Obamacare. Free sex change operations in the Obama plan. Do you know about that, Nancy Pelosi? Allow children to choose their own sex. By the way, the fate is already in vogue and called gender neutrality. Parents don't inform their child of his or her or its gender and let the little mutant choose one. Even better, have your child be Bob one day and Becky the next. Another hot trend called gender fluid. It's already happening at a few San Francisco Bay Area schools where bathrooms are unisex and children get to alter their gender as the mood strikes them. I'm not making any of this up. I'm reading you an article. The piece de resistance of feminization wrecked the economy. If you want to cripple men, rob them of their life spring, their ability to provide for their family. No worries. The government will step in as a worthy substitute. And the final stroke of genius, disempower the true symbols of masculinity, the military, police, and intelligence officers. Investigate them, sue them, protest them with riots in the street. Make them feel intimidated about doing their jobs. Require them to attend plenty of sensitivity workshops. So after decades of my going along like an automaton with the liberal program, I finally got it. As people like Savage have warned us about for years, tampering with gender is a disaster, and not just for men. Because society shrinks when we are forced to give up who we are, and we become shells of ourselves when we're robbed of our birthright, dignity, freedom, individuality. We become cloned people with this part and that part, never discovering who we are. We become what the Tibetans call hungry ghosts, tormented beings looking all over for happiness but never finding it because we've forgotten the only place it lives in our spirit, which is connected to forces beyond. We lose forever the knowledge of our true nature that we first glimpsed when we were knee high. Because the fact is that humans cannot, should not fool with Mother Nature. Shouldn't take nature in our hands and play God. To do so can unleash madness and danger, as we know from every horror movie. Because while we've been engineering a kinder, gentler man, much of the world has been doing the opposite. Countries like Iran and North Korea have been building nuclear weapons and poisoning their young men with hatred of the U.S., they have been making their men stronger, meaner, and better armed. Liberals, be honest with yourselves. In the end, if the worst-case scenario happens and we are attacked, who will you run to? Will you scream out for the Green Czar? Not all of us, no, not all of us, liberals and leftists, conservatives and feminists, will go where we, we will go where we have always gone from the beginning of time. We will search desperately for the big, strong men to protect us. The ones who have always had the guts, the courage, and yes, the cojones to put their lives and limbs on the line. The question is, by then, how many will be left? Robin is a recovering liberal and psychotherapist in Berkeley. It can be found on uh, The American Thinker or on michaelsavage.com. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't make a difficult time tougher. If your inheritance is stuck in probate, we can advance you the cash you need in as little as 72 hours. Visit inheritancefunding.com or call 877-U-AIR. That's 877-Y-O-U-H-E-I-R. Borders, language, and culture, you care about these things. I tell you why they're important. The Savage Nation, weekdays, 3 to 7 on Talk 910 KNEW. <laughs> Look, I've been very serious, you know, today. It's Many of you don't want to hear it anymore. I mean, you need it up to a point. You can get it. You know, on the health care, you can get anywhere. The Dem Republican, you can get from uh, any one of the, you know, flag wavers. I understand that. And many of you know where I stand politically, but you either love it or you don't love it and you put up with it because you like my uh, my sense of humor or the, the fact that I can wander into 
other topics. So if you wish me to wander into other topics, I can. I mean, I read you the article just now, Are Men Obsolete? I started by reading the article on how only Queen Elizabeth II can fix this by uh, Jennifer Harper of uh, Washington Times Inside the Beltway. I told you today that the Freedom of Information Act in England has been used by my attorneys to receive over 40 pages of documents which are going to set off shockwaves through the American and British media, but I can't disclose any of it right now. I believe that we have evidence that other U.S. broadcasters have been excluded, but we don't know who they are. We're going to try to find out if there are any and who they are, but we believe there are others on the list. Why they chose me only amongst the others is the real question. This borders on the Dreyfus affair. This borders on anti-white and anti-Semitic issues that we must discuss. It's much bigger than you may think. And you have to understand there's principles that are much larger. And I know you're all waiting for the Obama speeches. You should. I'm not going to listen to it. I'm not going to listen to it. To me, it's not the sun standing still and the moon not moving. Obama giving a speech is like me going to the bathroom as far as I'm concerned. In fact, if I can go to the bathroom, I feel better than I do listening to Obama's speech. It means nothing to me. He's a front man for interests that I'm not very interested in. Let's put it to you that way. Want me to go back to Isaiah? Your, here it is. Your land, strangers devoured in your presence. Your land, strangers devoured in your presence. You have strangers in Congress. They may as well be working for foreign governments. Who, who listening to this show can tell me you feel that Congress represents the American people and American interests? Now, how did this happen? Go to uh, Isaiah. He wrote, Our sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that deal corruptly. Thou have forsaken God. They, they have condemned the Holy One of Israel. They are turned away backward. Remember, I keep saying your hat's on backward. That was a, 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 a metaphor when I said your hats are on backwards. They are turned away backward. On what part would ye yet be stricken, seeing you stray away more and more? The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. Sounds like America, doesn't it? From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. You have a congresswoman who wants to expand the Equal Rights Amendment, and she says Afghanistan and China are the models of how women should be treated. Sheila Jackson Lee, surrounded by some of the meanest horse faces you ever see in your life. They want the women of America to look to Afghanistan and China as models of how women should be treated. You hear this? From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and festering sores, wrote Isaiah. Your country is desolate. Your land strangers devoured in your presence. And it is desolate as overthrown by floods. Of course, it is not desolate and overthrown by floods. We are not a besieged nation yet, are we? What's coming tomorrow? Do we know? How did this faithful nation become a harlot? She that was full of justice, righteousness lodged in her, but now murderers. How did this happen? Thy silver has become dross, thy wine mixed with water. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone loveth bribes and followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither doth the cause of the widow come unto them. That's America today, or was it ancient Israel that Isaiah was writing about? Because if it is America today, we could pretty much know what's coming tomorrow. In fact, if you look at the Congress of today, you could see what's coming tomorrow because it's already come today. They bankrupted the financial system, and now they're about to add the coup de grace. We talked about bullfighting last week and how it should be outlawed, that the bull is tormented by the picadors, and then, of course, the bull is tortured by the matador and then, and then stabbed with a, a sword through the heart until it lays there, this great, beautiful beast, and dies in such horror. America is like this bull. We, the American people, are the bull that has been tormented by the knaves in Congress. They, have be, they are the picadors. Each day they stab us with another pick and make us wince with their acts against their acts of insanity. 
And now tonight, of course, the chief matador gets up and he waves the sword in front of us. Matador Obama gets up with the red cape and he waves the cape around with the sword underneath it. And we, the bull, are supposed to say, yes, master, we want you to put the sword through our heart. Yes, master, we want to destroy the greatest medical care system the world has ever seen. Yes, master, put the ring in our nose. Yes, master, put us on your plantation of socialized medicine. Yes, master, give us more. We deserve less. Savage. He's, he's difficult to describe. He sounds like my dad with a Ph.D. The Savage Nation. Talk 910 KNEW. <laughs> music or something here. Albany, New York. Greg, welcome to the Savage Nation. What's on your mind, my friend? Hey, Mike, I just wanted to tell you, I really believe that you are a gift.